Hi everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to attach today's date to a file using Power Automate for the web. We are also going to use the same expression to insert the present date into an email. Let's jump in. So I've created a, a Power Automate flow and it's manually triggered with a button. And what I'm going to do to show you the expression that you're going to need is I'm going to create an initialize variable action. And we'll just call this get date. And we're going to use type string. And we're going to click into the value field. And we're going to use a dynamic content. And we're going to create an expression. So we'll click on expression. And then in this field here, we're going to use the expression UTC now. And you can see that prompt here, so you can select from there. And then inside our parentheses, we're going to add month double M forward slash lowercase dd forward slash year, year, year. And that's going to give us the month the date in the month day year format which is my favorite format to use um you can switch it up and you could do like a double digit year if you want but this is what we're going to go for in this demonstration and go ahead and click now and that's going to insert your expression into the value field here and we're going to go ahead and click save and then we're going to run that and see what variable it results in so we'll go over here and we'll test it, run flow. And our flow ran successfully. And if we click on the initialize variable action, we'll see that our output of our expression resulted in today's date, which today is 2-27-2023. So we were able to get today's date in the format that we wanted. Now let's hop over to see how we can attach that variable or expression to a say file action. Here we have a create file. Now in this type of action here, you're given the um, file name. And in this case, my file name that I'm creating is an email attachment. So that's why you see this dynamic content here. But let's say that I want the file name to also include today's date. So what I can do is I can create that same expression over here, our UTC now expression. So let's do, let's format the same date. Now uh, you're probably wondering if you're putting the forward slashes in, you're not going to get that the name of the file with the forward slashes, because as you know, that's not an acceptable, those are not acceptable characters, these forward slashes, but it's okay. Actually, um, your file will still get created with this date format, but these forward slashes will actually be converted into dashes and the file will still be saved. So we created that, we're gonna click okay. Let's say that we wanna have a little underscore um, in between the file, the, the attachment name in this case, and then the date. So you can put like something like that, like a underscore or a dash in between there. I like going with underscore. So that's gonna yield the file being saved with the name of the attachment from this email. Let's say that you want to send an email. So let's grab a send email action. And in the body, you could also put, um, for example, like let's say you want to uh, send an email that um, notifies someone that they um, completed a course. So you could say you completed the course on, and then you can go over and insert that same expression. So let's do that one more time, UTC now and month, day and year. Yep. And we can insert that in there and then put in a exclamation mark to finish off our sentence. And that's going to result in 
the email body saying you completed the course on and insert today's date. So that's how you can use that expression. Of course, you can use, there's a lot more, um, there's a lot of other ways you can use that same expression um, and create dyna cool dynamic content with it. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.